This program is brought to you by UCKG. My story before coming to the Universal Church was I was a big drug addict. I was a slave of drugs. And um, I was introduced to, first of all, cigarette. I was a big smoker of a cigarette. So then later on, I started taking marijuana, where I was just smoking to ease my problem. Then I started taking alcohol as well with it, so I was mixing both together. I was selling drugs, and I was doing all the bad things that even myself, I could imagine I was doing. Then I went deep into, into drugs, where the marijuana wasn't enough for me. I started taking ice, I was introduced to ice, where, and then one time I was introduced to cocaine. So then this is where I finished work, I remember that day, there was a friend of mine told me, do you want to try it? So I said, what is it? So then I tried cocaine and I went out. I went outside clubbing and we were partying all night where I felt like there was nothing, like I was just happy. And I went home that night smoking and I remember the Sunday coming, all my past came where all the bad habits, everything what I've done in the past came into my mind where I felt so sad, I felt lost, I felt like, what do I do? So then I was smoking so bad that night that I thought that the problem will, will leave. The next day I wake up, the problem was there where I wake up with, I can't say like I was depressed because of the drugs, because of the bad, bad life that I was, I was bringing. So then one day I got married again and um, I got a son. I remember that I was beating my son a lot where I was on a peace. I, I needed something, someone to take all my anger, all the unhappiness onto. I remember I was breaking stuff, breaking TV, throwing things in the house, leaving the house and just being out of myself where I remember I was on the street because I got kicked out. I took a lot of tablets with me thinking that this is the day that I'm going to end up my life and I took the tablet, all the tablet that I had on me, nothing happened and I thought that I was, I was going to die but now the ambulance took me and I was still there. My life was just destroyed. So I remember one day I spoke to my, to my family in Mauritius, which was my mom. And she said to me, Owen, why don't you try the Universal Church? Maybe they can help you. And I said, what do you mean? No one can help me because I couldn't find peace. No one could speak to me. So that day my mom said to me, I will try. Go there and see what happened. Maybe speak to the pastor. So I started. I remember the first time I went to the service, I sat down, I sat at the back of the church. And the pastor was talking about salvation, talking about maybe someone in the church has no money but has money for drugs. And the way he was talking, like it was someone told him about my life. Like at that time there was no money, I had money only for my addiction. And I said, okay. So at the end of the service, I went to speak to the pastor and I said, everything was happening in my life. So then I kept coming to the service. Again, on another Sunday, I threw the packet of cigarettes and I said, enough is enough. This is where I took the, I took the decision to, to try and give my life to God because I wanted to change, because all this addiction was killing me. I didn't know what to do. I was so lost where there was no one. I, there was no one at that time that could help me. So I remember one night, the pastor was, was praying and I put my head on the, on the floor and I said, God, enough is enough. I want to receive your Holy Spirit. So I remember that day that when I received the Holy Spirit, I remember I said, I wanted to go out and, um, and uh, save others who were on drugs. I, 
I even remember that day that um, I came to the pastor, I said to the pastor, Pastor, you know, don't know what happened to me yesterday. I, I, something came and I just wanted to go outside and help others, those who were on drugs. And he said to me, that was the good thing, that thing happened to you. And I said, what? I said, he goes to me, he received the Holy Spirit. And I went, wow, okay. And then I remember I emailed the pastor as well and I said, I was so happy. But since that day, there was, there's nothing that could stop me from from believing that God is with me. My name is Nadeja Demba from Mauritius, and I'm the mother of Erwin. I have suffered a lot with my son who was addicted to drugs, alcohol, betting, cigarettes, and had sentimental problems. I have decided to fight for him by fasting, doing chain of prayer at the uh, Universal Church. Today I can say that he is a transformed person and a man of God. I am very happy. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, until today I had no urge of alcohol, no urge of drugs and it took me a long time that I persevered because I had at that time I said to myself I had enough and today I am at peace and I am happy that I've got the Spirit of God and I know that sometimes the problem comes, but the Spirit, the Holy Spirit helps me to overcome all my problems. Welcome to your program, Problems and Solutions. A very good evening. You saw right now someone that was suffering with, with a spiritual problem. This person that you saw the testimony right now, that person was suffering with spiritual problems. And this person get rid of those problems through the power of faith. And this is proof that... Uh, the, the power of God, the power of the faith is the power that change people's lives and can transform the life of the person for once to for all. If you are there on the other side and you are suffering, many times you have panic attacks, you have insomnia, you have depression, you think to quit, you think to give up, you, you think that there is no way out for you, I want to invite you for you to watch more testimonies, more stories of people that have been seen the power of God. Hi, my name is Blessing and in my life, I went through a lot of depression. I was very sad and I was an emotional person. This is my story. My life before finding faith was really bad. Um, I grew up as an emotional person. I was very sad, very depressed. At the age of two, my mom and dad split up. This led me to be like really angry towards my dad as well. This caused um, a lot of hardships, me growing up in a very hard background. Um, also, I was bullied at school. Um, from a young age, I was bullied like the way that I looked. Um, I had a lot of friends, but then I lost that popularity as well. And also, I was just really sad, like I just didn't have any friends, I was very lonely, um, things were just really hard for me. The lowest moment of my life was um, I had a lot of spiritual attacks, so I couldn't sleep at night. I was tormented, like I just really wanted a good night's sleep and I wasn't able to have that, like I literally used to be awake all night until I see daylight, I could not sleep at night. So that really, you know, made me low because I was just frustrated within me and it happened for like over 10 years of my life. Um, from a young age, at the age of five, I started to have these spiritual attacks. So I couldn't sleep at night. Um, sometimes I'll try and go and sleep with my mom. I'll sleep with my brother. Like I could not sleep alone in the dark. I couldn't sleep with the lights off in my room either. Like every time I'll try to close my eyes, it will automatically just like shoot back up like I'll just wake but I'll just wake up again so it was just really bad I found a place of faith I was invited by someone on the streets and it sounded very interested I was very intrigued to know what the person was speaking to me about she approached me with a smile and everything I was like wow like I want this for myself as well so I came I first started to come to the youth group it was amazing I loved the vibes I loved the energy the positiveness in the um, place was really really amazing um, so then that lead led me to come to the services because I started to see changes within myself and I said no like I want to take things seriously I want a transformation in my life I want to see different things happening for me as well so when I started to come to the services I started to participate more I started to become more active I started to do things that would 
lead me to having a better life. So by doing that, I was able to see a lot of changes within me. I was able to see my mindset being different. I started to become more positive. Um, people around me could see that change. It was very clear. It wasn't something fake anymore. It was something for real now. If I compare my life now and before, my life is completely different, absolutely transformed. Um, how I was before is nothing like how I am now. I'm more positive, I'm more determined, um, I'm very assured within myself, I know who I am, I value myself, which is what I didn't have before. Before I was very emotional, so sad, but I am not like that anymore. I'm completely changed, I'm happy. People around me can genuinely see that happiness as well. Um, I've been told a lot of positive things, which really showed to me that, wow, okay, you have really changed, like you are not the same same anymore. Um, everything around me has changed for the better. Everything around me has changed and life is full of surprises. So even when problems do come, I know how to fight them. I know how to tackle them. It's not a thing where it brings me down. It's not a thing where I feel like giving up is like, it makes me better. It makes me a stronger person. Mental disorders can be well hidden, affecting thousands of people without them realizing. They believe the prolonged sadness, suicidal thoughts, anger, and heaviness within their heart is normal. Psychiatry is recommended when the disorder is discovered, but people still try to find different solutions to their ongoing problems. Family tragedies such as death, molestation, and abuse can cause a deep emptiness and anger in a person's heart, and they use whatever they find best to fill it. Abusing prescription pills, drugs, astrology, religion, relationships, and therapy are a few of the things people turn to in search of a solution to their problem. Mental illnesses can disrupt a person's normal way of thinking, leading them to make irrational decisions. What people don't know is that behind these mental illnesses are evil spirits tormenting their minds and thoughts. Their spiritual oppression has become a burden. The same way that the life of these people change, your life can change as well. And what I, I suggest you to do is not to just watch us there on, on the other side, but to take a step of faith, to stand up from wherever you are and to join us. Because, you know, Jesus said, come to me as you are. Doesn't matter how you are. Doesn't matter your situation. Doesn't matter your religions. Nothing matters. If you come to him as you are, God is able to give you rest. God is able to, get, to take you out of this situation. Tomorrow, Friday, is the day that we treat spiritual problems. Through the Word of God, we teach people how to overcome, how to get rid of those problems that uh, it seems impossible. And if you are on, watch me right now and you are suffering with a spiritual problem, you are our guest to join us. We're going to be here the whole day, but especially 7 p.m. we have our, our spiritual cleansing. You are our guest to join us. Here at the Birgia's Gotten 106, very near to the Tunobana Techniska. You are our guest to join us at 7 p.m., but we'll be here the whole day. Also in Yotaburg, we have our prayer Sunday, 2 p.m. in Yotaburg, and the address of our church there is Ringing Gotten 13 in Fart 7. We are near to Bacapla. You are our guest to join us. For more information, visit our website, uckg.se. Give your step of faith, and surely you're going to come out of this situation, and surely that your life will change. Have a blessed night. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. If you want out, that's fine with me.
This program is brought to you by UCKG.